Hey guys, welcome back to Ultimate Bag guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we will show you how to remove and replace the thermostat with the thermostat housing because it's a plastic housing. It's commonly on Chevy Cruze or Chevy Sony. Both of them guys share the same engine, so the video should be practically the same. So, stay with us guys, that's what we'll be doing. In the meantime, we'll have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop. Why guys? Because our goal is to save you as much money as we can. And all we need in return, like and subscribe guys. So, this is the Chevy Cruze we'll be working on now. We'll guys have more than 200 mechanical videos and more than 150 to 200 electrical videos with engine codes and all that stuff on our new channel Electrical Car Repair Live. So this is the cruise and this is the engine guys, 1.8 engine. As you can see, looking at the engine, this is your thermostat housing. Okay, this thing right here is your thermostat housing with the thermostat on the front. Now, first thing that we need to do, we need to drain our coolant. So stay with us, we'll show you. Guys, uh, we'll have it actually on the channel. Check it out, how to drain the coolant. If you don't know how to, where the drain plug is and all that stuff. Uh, we'll save you that thing in the, in the video now because we already drained ours and you can find the video uh, Because there is no need to waste your time if you know how to do that. Okay, and after you drain the coolant guys What we'll need to do now, okay? We'll need to remove the now if you have not every engine will have that the secondary air pump injection check valve Because this is one of the coolant hoses and we will not be able to get underneath. Okay To remove that clamp, okay? It will be a little bit of a tight fit. So what we'll do, okay, this one here now, we're going to disconnect the wire, pull out. Now right here, squish it in the middle. Okay, check it out like that and pull it out. We have three bolts holding that check valve to the engine block with a 13 millimeter socket. Okay, one is on the bottom, two on top. So we'll remove those quick. Again guys, check out the channel. We'll have so many videos in uh, the coolant draining video guys. I would recommend to drain your coolant when the engine is cold. Make sure you don't have any pressure and all that stuff. You can find the whole detailed video on the channel. We also have a video how to bleed the cooling system. It's very important to bleed it correctly. Otherwise you are risking of overheating your engine. So I'm going to hold it now with one hand. Sometimes it will get loose, sometimes that thing will be stuck, so you need to tap on it a little bit. In our case, ours, okay, got loose. Perfect, and I'll just set it on the side. Now, that hose, guys, okay, in order to get to the hose, we're going to remove, okay, that uh, bracket there with a 10 millimeter nut. It's also in the way of the thermostat housing, so it will need to be removed. Now we need to disconnect the thermostat wire. Next, we can uh, go ahead and remove the holes. Okay, right here. Perfect. Okay, came out. Great. Now, guys, what do we need to do? Okay, right here now, we need to disconnect our transmission. Okay, shifter cable. You can check out all the tools and parts that we use guys listed in the description of the video below. Okay, came loose. We'll pull it to the side. Why we do that? Okay, because right here underneath, okay, we have one bolt here that we cannot reach otherwise. Now we have one, two, three, four bolts. 
Okay, that we need to remove with a reverse Torx. Okay, reverse Torx 10 socket. Okay, let me show you what the socket looks like quick. This socket right here. Okay, we'll remove that hose. Okay, let me disconnect that hose quick. Now this hose, okay, this is super easy. Okay, you press in here, okay, on the front side. Let me just... Okay, let me grab a screwdriver quick. Okay, because I won't be able to press it and... Okay, if we press in here... Okay, you can see it came loose a little bit. Okay, this thing is not holding anymore. Okay, perfect. It has two teeth holding. Okay, one here, one over there. Now, we need to disconnect Okay, that wire for the temperature sensor. Okay, press down there, pull it out. Perfect. Now guys, we need to do some hoses on the back. Okay, this is a little bit of a limited room. Okay, it's going to slip this way, I think. We almost had it out. Let me see, I think it will be a little bit easier if I get pliers like that. Okay, through right here. Or on this side, the white pliers. Okay, I'm going to grab the hose and pull it while we're removing the clamp. Okay, and later we're going to install it the same way. Now we have one more. Okay, this one <laughs> right here. Now this one is the interesting thing to do. So, okay, let me see if I can go from this side here okay this is I almost got it Okay, let me see if I can grab it with my left hand. And pull the hose out. Well, I'm doing that. Okay, let's come a little bit up. Okay, I almost came out. Ah, come on. Okay, now I think I'll be able to get it. Okay. Ah, right there. Scratch hands all the way. That's something normal. Now we have four bolts with a Torx 10. Okay, let me show you the Torx. Start looking a bit like that one.
Okay, one on the bottom. Actually, two on the bottom. Okay, perfect. Now a few here. Okay, I'm trying to show you, but it's hard to see. It's very long bolt, guys. Okay, that's how long the bolt is. Now, this is two bolts so far, okay. Before we remove the rest, okay, we forgot. Okay, right here, this is the coolant pipe that goes to the water pump. There is two bolts, okay, two bolts with a... Okay, let me show you the Torx quick. Okay, Torx 30, socket like this one. Okay, this one you go through here. Okay, check it out how you go. We need to get the little ratchet, get it loose now. Okay, it's a good thing we didn't drop this one. One more, right there. Perfect. And we just have these two bolts now, on this side. Okay, I'm going to hold it with one hand so the bolts can keep going easy. Okay, perfect. One more there. Okay now, haha, <laughs> this thing got in again. Check out guys, this is the whole thermostat housing assembly out of the car. So that's how you guys remove it. You can see, uh, not too complicated, but it's not simple as well too. So putting it together is in reverse order, we took it apart. Check out the description of the video below guys, we'll have the parts listed and everything and where we purchased them from. So, Thank you guys for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.